Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. I'm going to take a look at what the market direction is doing based upon today's selling. As you saw, the Dow came back down through the T line, but it didn't do a sell signal in a close below the T line. However, the NASDAQ did do a hanging man signal followed by a gravestone doji followed by a gap down, which is a strong sell signal, your bearish best friend, and it did close back below the T-line and the 50-day moving average. This makes it very important to see how the pre-market futures are showing how the market will open tomorrow. A lower open tells you they're probably at least coming down here and then possibly even lower. The S&P 500, same scenario. Notice the doji and the doji right here at the 50, and they gap it down through the 34 and the uh, T line, telling us if there's any weakness tomorrow, you definitely want to be going short. Now, there's still stocks that are trading strong. We're recommending INO tomorrow on positive trading because you can see how it's broken out of, through the wedge. And even today, it pulled back and used the T line as support. That's just added confirmation that the bullish trend is in progress on this stock. If it opens positive tomorrow, we've got a bullish doji sandwich continuing the uptrend. Same scenario as why we were buying Codex the other way, the other day. It broke out through the wedge and started in an uptrend. We stay long as long as it stays above the T-line. However, you probably want to be going short on bearish doji sandwich. Um, you can short QCOM on any weakness with the prospect of coming back down here and testing this level. Or you can be shorting AWK that if it opens lower tomorrow, the bearish move will probably be the same magnitude as this candle right here. Also a bearish doji sandwich telling you you're heading down lower. So right now, on any weakness tomorrow, you want to be adding some short positions to the portfolio. That's it for the uh, reversal that might be occurring in the markets. Also, you might want to join us on May 2nd. We will be doing a full day session on how you utilize the appropriate option strategies with the appropriate candlestick signals. And we make it very simple. There's only four trading strategies and they're all extremely simple. We don't want to be spending 45 minutes to an hour and a half each night trying to figure out our option strategies. With that, thank you for listening. We'll see you in the chat rooms.